Hey guys, it's Warren here and today we are making a chocolate graveyard cake. This is super spooky plus it's a great recipe to make for Halloween. Ah! Now to start with we'll make our chocolate brownie sponge. In a bowl or a saucepan melt 190 grams of butter with 200 grams of dark chocolate. Meanwhile, into a large mixing bowl, sieve in 80 grams of plain flour, 20 grams of cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon of baking powder and 250 grams of caster sugar. Then crack in 2 eggs. Next, once the chocolate and butter is all melted and it's silky smooth, pour it into the mixing bowl. Then, using either a wooden spoon, a food processor or a food mixer, mix all the ingredients until combined. Now take a square oven dish that's been lined with some greaseproof or parchment paper and spread all the brownie mixture into the dish. Level your chocolate brownie off, then bake in an oven that's been preheated to 190 degrees centigrade, which is 375 Fahrenheit. Then when your chocolate brownie's cooked, remove from the oven, turn it out onto an oven rack and leave to cool. And meanwhile we'll prepare some of the decorations for our chocolate brownie graveyard. To make the meringue for our ghosts and pumpkins, separate the yolk from the white from one egg. Then quickly whisk the egg white until light and fluffy. Ah! Now continue to quickly whisk the egg white while slowly adding in 50 grams of caster sugar. Ah! Now when your meringue has thickened up nicely and it can form stiff peaks, spoon half of the meringue mixture into a sandwich bag or a piping bag. Cut the corner off using a pair of scissors, then pipe out some ghosts onto a baking tray that's been lined with some greaseproof or parchment paper. And then to make our pumpkins, use the other half of the meringue mixture and mix in some orange food colouring and again pipe out some pumpkins onto the baking tray. When you're happy you have enough ghosts and pumpkins, place into an oven that's been preheated to 130 degrees centigrade, which is 265 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for about 30 minutes. Then remove from the oven and leave to cool. And next, when your chocolate brownie has cooled thoroughly, use a sharp knife to cut off all the rough edges. And next, we'll make the icing to go on top of the chocolate brownie. So take 25 grams of melted butter, sieve in 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder, then mix in 75 grams of icing sugar. Next pour in 15 millilitres of milk and mix until nice and smooth. Then generously spread all over the top of the chocolate brownie. When your icing's evenly spread and spread all the way up to the edges of the brownie, take some of that spare brownie we cut off earlier and crumble it over the icing to give it a really cool, muddy effect. And next we're going to make our gravestones. So take some rectangular biscuits, and here I'm using nice biscuits, and spread over some dark melted chocolate. Then place onto some greaseproof or parchment paper, and place in the fridge and leave to set. Then using some melted white chocolate, pipe over some spooky lettering and leave to set again. Now using some coloured icing in tubes, decorate your pumpkins and ghosts, then your graveyard's ready to decorate. Simply push the headstones into the brownie and use some melted chocolate to stick the pumpkins and ghosts on top of the brownie as well. And there you have it, that's how to make your very own chocolate brownie graveyard perfect for Halloween. 